Hello fellow YouTubers, Mac in VR here, and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in mixed and virtual reality. Today I'm going to be talking about fine-tuning your settings on virtual desktop and your Wi-Fi router to get that buttery smooth wireless experience that you all want when playing your favourite PC VR games. So let's dive straight in and remember, we're born to respawn. Now this isn't a virtual desktop setup tutorial. If you need help setting it up initially, I've done this video here, which I've also linked in the description below. Go watch that and then come back here, okay? I'm doing a deep dive into the settings on virtual desktop and your Wi-Fi router to reduce stuttering and latency to give you a nice consistent experience. For your reference, I'm using this dual band powerline Wi-Fi extender from TP-Link. But firstly, one of the main questions I got asked from my virtual desktop setup tutorial was, can I use 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi to wirelessly stream to my Quest? And the answer is yes, but also no. Here is a clip of me playing Half-Life Alex using the 2.4 gigahertz option on my dual band router. Alex, great. Okay, let's, wait, my drone's okay, right? Nope, it exploded. I'm fine, by the way. Right, good words, the Russell, they've got dad. You may notice it looks very choppy and not smooth at all, which quite quickly led to me feeling a bit ill. So yes, you can run it on 2.4 gigahertz, but no, the experience is not pleasant. I hope that helps answer that question for you and to really enjoy the full benefits of virtual desktop, you need to use your five gigahertz channel. Okay, now we're going to change some settings. So first off, open SideQuest and make sure you're running the latest version of Virtual Desktop's plugin. Currently, this is 1.13.6. Then we'll go through the optimal settings on Virtual Desktop itself. Now, these recommendations are directly taken from Virtual Desktop's Discord channel by a user called RogueTR, so are therefore taken as gospel. Open the Desktop Streamer app and in the box marked Preferred Codec, click the little blue arrow and select H264. Now, why H.264 and not HEVC, which is a newer codec? Well, apparently it just runs better is the answer. Then we're going into the virtual desktop app on your Oculus Quest. Open the app, click the Oculus button on your left controller and go into settings. On the settings menu, you need to change the following. Environment quality to high, video frame rate to high, video bit rate limit as high or insane, depending on your PC though Virtual Desktop does automatically adjust the bitrate itself. It is also recommended you turn off sliced encoding. Now we're going to look at your Wi-Fi settings and I'm going to access my advanced settings. So type your router's IP address into a web browser. Type in the password, which is usually admin if you haven't changed it. Click wireless settings, then turn off your 2.4 gigahertz channel. Go to your five gigahertz channel and open the advanced settings tab. For mode or protocol, we're going to select the most up-to-date, which is 802.11ac. This provides the highest throughput wireless LAN on the 5 GHz channel. We're also going to set the channel width to 80 MHz. Next, you'll have to find a channel with the least amount of activity. This is trial and error, and after some fiddling, I found channel 48 to be the best for my router. Also, turn transmitter power to its highest settings, and you're done. Press save. Just a quick explanation of my own setup. I play VR in my man cave, which is right at the back of my garden and have to use power line adapters to get my internet into my play space. Because of this, I will never be able to get my latency super low due to the distance and the amount of equipment in between. But I could get my latency to be super stable and stutter free. So I'll play a clip of me in Half-Life Alex, and you'll see my latency at 40 to 41 milliseconds, but rock solid and with no stuttering which makes for a comfortable experience for me.
Some of my friends who have more conventional setups can get around 20 to 30 milliseconds latency, which is nigh on perfect for wireless streaming of PC VR. Well, that's the end of my deep dive into maximizing your settings for a smooth, stutter-free wireless streaming to Oculus Quest using virtual desktop. Have you tried my settings? How did you get on? What was your latency like? Have you got any settings you think I've missed? So don't forget to comment down below. Well, that's it for today. Feel free to share this video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload any new content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.